Um, let's get into Survivor Series real quick before I let you go. This coming Sunday, we may or may not be there. <laughs> I still have no idea. Um, we got six matches on the docket as of right now. Brand Supremacy, baby. Raw versus SmackDown. Let's start with the elimination matches, which could very well go well either way, and there's no stakes here, so who gives a shit? Um, a Team Raw for the men, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, and Austin Theory replacing Rey Mysterio in Monday's Raw. Despite Adam Pearce saying a week ago he wanted champions on the team, I like Austin Theory, but that just doesn't make any sense. Team SmackDown, Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin, and still one more person to be announced on SmackDown because they took Zayn off the team a week ago. Um, to me, regardless of who joins Team SmackDown, this feels like an easy Team Raw win, especially considering that on Team Raw, I, I know Woods has been mixing it up with Roman re- uh, recently, but you have Rollins, who has a title shot in his back pocket, Bobby just came back, he's hot right now, Theory has been undefeated since coming to Raw, Owens just turned heel, I feel like they would be it would be booking malpractice to have Team Raw lose this match for the men. I mean, Team Raw has to win, all these guys are either on a hot streak or in the main event scene, I mean, Woods, like you said, is kind of mixing up with, with uh, Reigns, but... Drew's kind of doing his own thing right now. Jeff Hardy, I mean, Happy Corbin, I mean, come on. And then who who knows who's going to be the TBA guy, but, I mean, this should be Team Raw, LOL. Any predictions, whether it be a Cesaro or a Sheamus or a um, Ridge Holland or maybe even Von Wagner joining Team SmackDown? God, I hope it's Sheamus. I hope it's Von Wagner just for the reaction. Just so we can come on here next week and shit all over it. Just so we can be there and just completely shit on this thing if it's Von Wagner. And it's going to be the sole survivor, like Randy Orton in 03 and 04. No comment. <laughs> Terrible. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown for the women. We got for Team Raw, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Queen Zelina. Taking on Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, and Natalia. And again, one more person to be announced as Aaliyah was taken off a week ago. Thank God. Um, I assume the last spot goes to um, probably Tony Storm. She resurfaced on the show a week ago, so that would make the team stronger. I don't know if I would have Team Raw win both matches, so I'm going to go Team SmackDown here. Um, I know Team Raw has more... I don't want to say they work better together um, because the team hasn't changed yet, but Carmella and Zelina are at odds with Rhea Ripley, so I feel like that'll factor in somehow. Bianca's got something going on with with Dewdrop, and maybe she'll interfere or whatever. So, who knows? And then Liv Morgan is the number one contender to the Raw Women's Championship, but SmackDown's got Sasha Banks they're protecting, Shotzi they're pushing right now, Natalia, who gives a shit. Shayna has been involved more recently with the Naomi stuff, um, but I feel like this has got to be a win for Team SmackDown, I think. Couldn't agree more. Um, I feel like Raw has more dissension on the team. They can leave it to, like, like I said, Dewdrop can cost Bianca, so she's out. Carmella and Zelina screw over Rhea. Then they just get beat, whatever. And then you just have Liv Morgan as like the one sole person on Raw. And then she doesn't look as bad if there's still like three or four people on SmackDown she loses. Yeah, no, I would, I would like to see Shotzi and, and um, uh, Sasha kind of cancel each other out. And then Shane is the sole survivor. And it's Shane, I think Shayna and Liv Morgan, I mean, this is what I wanted to see in the, in the finals of the Queen's Crown Tournament. Um, yeah, kind of. I think that'd be a great dynamic. And then Shayna ultimately wins. And then that'd be cool. Um, any prediction for who the final spot could go to? Probably Tony, right? I would assume Tony since she came back on SmackDown like a week or two ago. Yeah, I mean, Naomi and Sonya got their thing going on, so it probably won't be either of them. Um, let's get to the champions matches here. Damian Priest for Shishinsuke Nakamura. Zero build at all. Priest hasn't been on the show in weeks. Nakamura's been losing a lot lately, so it should be a great match, but the booking, it's hard to care. Uh, Priest is the one they're protecting now. I mean, the guy hasn't lost, I don't think, in, in many, many, many months. Um, I don't think he's ever lost a singles match on Raw, if I'm not mistaken. Nakamura's been losing left and right on SmackDown recently, so I feel like this is a slam dunk win for Damian Priest. I was going to say, you got to go Priest here. I feel like he's more more over. He's a bigger uh, like priority right now. Um, I like Shinsuke, but I mean Priest hasn't lost it forever either, so you got to have Priest one here. Yeah, give him the big push. Keep pushing him towards the um, you know main event scene, and hopefully we see him in the world title picture before long. Uh, going to the Tag Team Champion Clash here. RK Bro, Raw Tag Team Champions against the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos. This one can go either way. I really don't know. I'm going to say the Usos. I know the Usos won on Monday's Raw in that six-man tag, so I guess the R- I guess RK Bro could win. I don't know, though. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling Usos' victory for some reason, maybe just to protect the bloodline. So I'm going to say Usos win this one. I'm saying RK, RK Bro wins this one. Keep... Keep the Usos losing, keep Roman on their back. Okay. Keep 
I mean, I could so see, like, Omos coming out and screwing RK Bro and Usos winning, but I feel like... Eh, I get... Eh. Yeah, I'm going to go with RK Bro, but, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if the Usos won either. No, I could see this going either way. I, I didn't really think about that, but, yeah, the Usos could lose and leading to more dissension within the bloodline. That would make sense. Um, Raw Women's Champion versus SmackDown Women's Champion. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Again, another one that can go either way. Um, Becky's got more momentum right now, I think, but it wouldn't surprise me to see Charlotte win. I mean, Becky has beaten Charlotte far more often, I think, than Charlotte has beaten Becky. So Charlotte may need to win more, which is why I could see her winning. I don't know. I just feel like Becky's got a lot more going for her right now. She hasn't really lost a lot since coming back a few months ago. I'm going to go with Becky Lynch in this one. Yeah, I think Becky wins here. I mean, there's a lot of shit going on right now between them. Ric Flair can't stop running his mouth on Twitter. <laughs> the guy will I not feel, shut the uh, fuck up. I, think, I feel like the company's more behind Becky. I, I would honestly be pretty shocked if she lost there. Did you see that Becky clip on, uh, I think it was Ariel Hawani show or whatever. I did. Oh, I my. did. I died laughing. I, <laughs> the, the fact that I was, the funny thing is that I talked to her like, so she was in the car when I interviewed her yesterday. She was on her way to that appearance. And I was going to ask her about the Ric Flair stuff, but I just didn't have time to touch upon it. Um, but I was going to ask her, like, you know, because Becky's the type of person, like, she tweeted Charlotte because Charlotte, like, did some interview and she responded to it, whatever. Um, Becky's the type of person, it seems, to always respond to people taking shots at her if you're, like, someone of the notoriety of Ric Flair. And I always thought it, I thought it was weird that she didn't respond. So when she responded on the show and the guy asked her about it and she just said, you know, it's sad, man, that he was even commenting on this. I'm like, that's so true. I mean, I just, the dark side of the ring thing for Flair was like the final nail in the coffin because the guy was already a little sketchy, but it's been down, he's been taking L's ever since. Yeah, it's bad. He needs to get off Twitter. <laughs> He needs to get off Twitter, pal. That's just bad. Uh, main event of the show, Big E versus uh, Roman Reigns, WWE Champion versus Universal Champion. I think looking at the stats here, I don't think the WWE Champion has ever won at Survivor Series in these champion versus champion matches, and that ain't going to change this year. Roman is definitely beating Big E. Uh, Roman has not been pinned at all since coming back over a year ago, and I like Big E a lot. I don't think Big E will be the one to beat him. Big E has lost while WWE Champion, so I don't think it's completely out of the ordinary for him to lose here as well. But I think it should be a great match. I don't think these two have ever gone one-on-one -on -one before, so I'm looking forward to it. But whether the Usos interfere or not and the New Day get involved, maybe, I still think it's a win for Roman Reigns. Yeah, the record's continuing. Roman Reigns is going to win here. Like you said, Biggie's lost his champion already, so it's not a big deal if he loses again. Roman's the man. There's possibly zero chance he loses. Based on what we saw in SmackDown last week, bonus question for you. What do you do with day one with the Universal Championship? Is it... Xavier Woods going for the title, or do you think they build up Drew or Jeff Hardy before then, or where do you see them going with that? I don't know. I mean, they, they are kind of teasing that it'll be Woods. I mean, I don't love that idea, but, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I mean, I'd rather see I'd rather see them do that match on SmackDown next week, coming out of the pay-per-view, personally. I like Woods a lot. I'm, I'm glad he's getting a significant push. I think it's great. Uh, just Xavier Woods versus Roman Reigns on paper, to me, and you know whatever match Roman is involved in is the main event. I mean, it almost always is. So that's why I feel like it would be weird if he lost. And not not lost, but I feel like it'd be weird if it was Woods in that spot and not someone like a Jeff for I mean, I know Jeff's lost a lot lately too, but he's a bigger name than Xavier Woods. So I mean I don't know. technically you could have like Xavier help Biggie beat Roman. Yep. And then you could do them too. Maybe, so Yeah. Maybe maybe Biggie will be the person to beat Roman. I, yeah, not, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't so. be upset with that, but I just wouldn't do it personally. Yeah, I'm against it. Yeah, I would save that first loss for whenever he loses the championship, but that's just me, and I know you agree as well.